Now this is going to be one of the easiest and quickest shower remodels we've done in a while. Quick backstory. She hired a contractor with over 30 years experience, mind you. The contractor came in, tore out the shower. She had a plumber install a new valve. Now the contractor apparently doesn't like to install tiled shower pans. He installed an acrylic shower pan, which I just can't stand. Acrylic shower pans uh, don't look good. Uh, they're ugly. If you're gonna remodel a shower, you might as well tile the shower pan and tile a curb. 30 plus years experience, tore the shower out, prepped, installed hardy backer, randomly installed a niche, 12 by 12 niche on the left wall for some reason in a random bay. No pre-planning as soon as he found out what size tile that she wanted to use. He pulled out, put his hands up and said, hey, I can't do this. I have no means of cutting this tile. It was a 16 by 32 high gloss porcelain from floor and decor. Just goes to show years of experience means nothing, not to me. So we took over the job. We're gonna make it look beautiful. We're going to do some pre-planning, frame the niche in the back wall. So again, full tiles land right below it. It's gonna look beautiful. She's gonna have some decorative mosaic behind the niche for the jewelry of the, uh, the shower. It's gonna take us three days. Today's prep, install our Schluter Curdy board, waterproof everything. And then uh, we will get some tile on the wall today as well. Let me show you what uh, is already set up from the previous contractor who bailed out. All right, we got everything packed up in the little 2021 Ford Transit, 27 miles per gallon. Fits a lot of stuff. We're gonna pull all this out, get everything set up, and I'm gonna show you what is existing right now. What we have to remove, all the hardy backers coming off. The niche is gonna be relocated behind the wall. Let's quickly show you, come on. Master bathroom, here we go. Large master bathroom. She already had some remodeling done. Cabinet. We're going to cover everything with plastic. This vanity, this table, of course, this does not need to be covered because we will close the door. Very simple. So here is the shower. The 30 plus a year experienced contractor prepped for us. Plumber installed the valve. You have a diverter there. The tile guy, he installed the hardy backer. This is waterproofing used some sort of uh, oil-based caulking taped down there. You have a combination of hardy backer screws with roofing nails, and here's the niche, completely random. He found a bay, installed it in a bay. He must have pulled the uh, prefab niche. It's a uh, purple, very flexible, cheap prefab niche. So we're going to quickly remove all of this hardy backer Take it to the dump, hopefully somebody at the dump will pull it and have use for it. But we're gonna install our Schluter Curdy board, waterproof via Schluter. Our niche is gonna go right here, 12 by 28. Here's the big tile. This is the tile that contractor could not cut. So he prepped everything. She brought this to the table, said, this is what I want in the shower. He threw his hands up and said, I cannot cut this tile. Pay me for the prep. And then she hired us. This is going to be the glass for behind the niche for the jewelry of the shower. So let's get right to it guys, super simple. Prep, waterproof, and we will get some tile on the walls today. Let's do it. All right, the hardy backer has been removed. And it looks like every single stud in the shower is not plumb. So we're gonna have to wet shim. Plain and simple. Off, back wall. Off, valve wall. Off as well. No big deal, quick wet shim. We'll get these studs nice and flat and plumb. As you can tell, this is a manufactured home. So that is uh, what the plumber plumbed in for the mixing valve. Everything's protected. Time to go shopping, pick up our Schluter board, our Schluter waterproofing, some thin set and uh, 
get back here, frame the niche, get bored on the walls. Let's go. Everything is going great. We removed all the hardy backer. All of the framing is just out of whack. Every single stud is out of plumb. Here is our tile. I don't know how many times I tell you I love large porcelain tile, 19 and a half by 39 inches. High gloss, beautiful light gray. We will cut it with our 36 inch Montelite using our Lebtec leveling system. Everything is set up. Right now we are framing for the niche. We're gonna mix up some thin set and wet shim quickly. Let's go. All right, pre-cutting our Schluter board. Washers, screws, niche is all framed out. There's our prefab. We will have notches down here, but we will have a full at the top. Wet shimming the back wall, wet shimming the left and right wall, so everything is absolutely flat and plumb for installation. Makes things go a lot quicker, so here we go. Nice, tight fit. All right, let's mix up some thin sets. Okay, wet shimming is all complete for the first piece of board. Including the niche, took about 10, 15 minutes. Let's install our first piece. We will install two screws just to hold it in place until tomorrow. We'll tap it down, make sure it is flat. Most importantly, make sure the back wall is plumb. All right, so far so good. This method is super fast. Nice and plumb. Nice and plumb and flat. And the left side, plumb and flat. Wet shimmin is the answer for perfect walls to tile on. Ten minutes in the top section is ready. Let's install, throw a couple screws in to hold it in place, make sure it is all tapped down. Here we are, day two. Wet shim is complete. I've already checked. Everything is nice and flat, nice and plumb for our 19 by 39 inch porcelain tiles. Niche is framed out, ready to go. Got the air here. We're gonna screw off the remainder of this board. As you can see, we only installed a few screws here and there to hold everything in place. Screw off the remainder of the board, band everything. And then we will get started with tile installation immediately. That's the cool thing about Schluter. You prep, you waterproof, and you can immediately start tile. We're gonna be using Schluter all set for this project. We've got LevTech. We're gonna bring that into the bathroom, snap our big porcelain tiles, and get right to it. So let's mix up some thin set and get going. 